Hey, hi, this is Admin from Admin365 and today we are going to talk about the places in Office 365 where we can enable multi-factor authentication for the users in Office 365. So let's get started. So let's go to the Office Admin Center and basically uh, there are three places where you can enable the multi-factor authentication for the users. So the first is under active users. And here you see the option for multi-factor authentication. You just click on it and it will redirect you to the multi-factor authentication portal. And here you can select the user and enable MFA on them. Enable it. By clicking on this and then you can enforce it so that they can not skip it and they will have to complete the setup for it so this is the first place and the second place where we can do it is here basically the second and the third is located in here the second is what we call conditional access which basically is required mostly on the admin account but it can also be enabled for user account as well as per the policy you can create a policy and set up the multi-factor authentication for either the user or the admin accounts only so this was the second place where you can create where you can enable or create a policy and set up mfa and the third place is here uh, you just have to click on azure active directory and then scroll down to properties and manage security defaults and this is basically the option if it is turned on the users or the admin in the tenant will receive the prompt to set up mfa they would have an option to skip it for 14 days as well but once 14 days has expired they will have to complete the setup to be able to log into office 365 services so if it is on uh, you can turn it off if you want to turn it off but you can enable it from here as well so these were the three places where we can set up multi-factor authentication on an office 365 tenant so do let me know guys if you have any question doubt or any suggestions till then you have a nice day bye bye